Hello engineers, welcome to Drive Consult. Today we'll be exploring the cable installation methods in building services engineering. Cable installation, which can also be called electrical wiring, is the systematic laying of wires for the smooth flow of electricity current. If the duty of the electricity supply agency to provide electricity up to a point outside the consumer premises. But an MEP engineer is concerned with the electrification process from this point or sometimes from the substation to the main switchboard. Based on this, building services cabling can be divided into two where we have the service connection and the internal connection the service connection cabling is the wiring system that is concerned with how electrical power from the utility is brought to the energy meter installed in the project premises if of two types we have the underground or you call it direct burial method and the overhead wiring method. The underground is more provided to the overhead because of their aesthetical appeal but their cost has always been their setback. The almost cost twice of the overhead cables. Overhead wiring system is thus the most common in rural areas. Local ordinance is also a factor when selecting between these choices of installation. As an electrical engineer, you must properly size this service cable while designing. The cable size will be derived from the building connected load which is derived from the load calculation you did for the project. The second aspect of cable installation is the internal connection, which are any connection from the main switch. It includes the connection for the building interior and the exterior. If of six types, first is the kit wiring method where wires are wall fitted. This is achievable by using cleat to clip the wires to the wall. Although this method seems outdated but are still common in underdeveloped countries. This method is also being used for temporary usage. The second type of internal connection is the casing and keeping wiring method which is fairly similar to the cleat wiring method just that the wires are carried through a casing enclosure this method is simple but are highly prone to fire most especially when there is short circuiting the third type of internal electrical wiring is the baiting wiring method where electrical wires are laid over a wooden baiting with a brass clip. They are usually used for indoor installation because of their durability but can't be used in humidity environment. The fourth method is the conduit wiring method which is the cable installation method where cables are laid inside a PVC or a steel pipe conduit. The installation can be surface, I mean attached to the wall, or concealed inside the wall of floor screen. They are basically of two types, the full conduit and the half conduit. The full conduit, as the name implies, is the one common in commercial buildings whereby the entire system is wholly conducted 
and the half conduit is common in residential projects whereby only cables beneath the ceiling levels are conducted and those above are cleated. This conduit method is the most popular today because of their agility and their aesthetic appeal. The system is also safe from chemical and external effects. Other than their installations is complex and expensive. The fifth method is the trunking method, which are mainly used for industrial projects. In this method, cables are run through a rectangular made system method called trunk. The trunk draws provide mechanical protection for the cable. They are much similar to the casing and keeping method. The last is the cable tray method, which is also similar to the trunk method. Other than we use cable tray here instead of trunk. They are commonly used for industrial application because the cables are being exposed to air and the heat transfer is far better than the conduit system. In this method, port is also easy to follow up. I did like to chip in the factors that determine the choice of wiring methods to use, which includes the durability requirements of the project. This basically implies the ability of the wiring system to withstand the surrounding condition, I mean the project type condition. The second is the aesthetic cool appeal where the artistic impact is to be considered. While we still have the cost, which must include the construction and the maintenance cost, we still have the expected life of the installation, the occupancy or project types, most especially the ceiling type needs to be considered. Hope you find this video useful. Comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys.